All right. Now to s oh, this this is going to be confusing. Not yet, <laughs> but we'll see if we lose track of whose deck is whose. See who goes first. Five. Five. Okay, I'll take that. Ten is okay. Where's the other? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, so if Snake Eyes is double one, is there a name for double six? Like, the road or something? Oh, <laughs> anyway, so... Congrats on your one in 36. <laughs> Alright, man. Would you like to be on the plane? Yes. That does not bode well for me. Alright. This is not a deck that requires a lot of agency, though, so... Ooh. This though, good grief! Yeah, I don't like it. I love it. <clears throat> okay. All right. Likewise. Airborne. Cool. Curse girl. Ooh. Okay. Good. Fair enough. Hmm. Drawsy Temple Gut. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we're stuck on one. Well, unfortunately, that makes this next. Like choice a little bit easier right then. I'm sorry, buddy. It's so good, yet like so like boring. I'm gonna thorn you. Oh, no. Pass turn. <laughs> oh no, not like this. Chalice on one. Yeah. <laughs> Last turn. Need to clean up. Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! That had to have been the top deck because we didn't do it on the second turn before the thorn came out. Oh man! Oh man! I'm sorry, dude. Um. I'm curious to see what you have going on. Thought not seer. Dark writ times two, innocent blood, curse scroll, crucible, smallpox, nether void. Um, what am I worried about here? You're running Crucible, but the last time that we spoke, you told me you didn't have fetch lands. Or at least I think that's what I remember. So I'm not as worried about Crucible. But recurring waste is still pretty pretty obnoxious. Okay. I think in this spot, smallpox is okay, because it's gonna put you further behind on lands than I am. So it, it almost doesn't even matter, to be honest. Like, none of these matter because Chalice and one. This doesn't matter. I guess we'll take the Crucible. And then... I'm gonna waste you. And then, uh... Yeah. Pass turn. Oh. I'm sorry, dude. Going to yeah, this is this is a deck that takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of skill to pilot. Oh, actually, that's exiled on the like just to keep track because oh no 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 that's wrong because you don't actually get it like a like a, a kite sail freebooter or I'm trying to think of the two mana Orzov one it's a two two takes a card until it's killed. Or a spell queller or whatever. Play a cavern on Eldrazi. 
We're going to be that guy, GTA. Yep. Pass turn. I pay three for it, though. Ancient Tomb? Yep. Equip G tape. <laughs> Four. <laughs> two counters. Main two. Lose two. Battery shaper. Pass turn. Like, what is this hand? This is this is mean. That's what it is. Yeah. Combat? Yep. What are you at now? 12? 4, 7, can't quite be lethal yet. So we'll hit you for 7. Go to 4 counters. Main 2. One, two, three, four, five. Take two. Chalice on two. Pass turn. Yeah. All right. Swing for lethal. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is actually. Oh, did those come from my deck or yours? Yours. Mine. Okay. This is the reason why I can't play Lantern Control. I can't, like, do that. Oh, well, my sleeve must have gotten it. I can't do that for a long period. In fact, people are salty for a, a moment, and mm -hmm. then it's over, but with something like Lantern Control or Jace Fate Sealing, it's just like, you, you, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, here we go. Game two. Maybe we'll have a game this time. <laughs> All right. You're on the play? Yes. Fair enough. So often against Pox players, it's okay to take the draw. You give yourself an extra card against their discard. But because of some of the selections that my deck has, I think I always want to be on the play, just in case. If I don't know what's in my hand, I think that's right. But a, a list that's pretty much straight aggro might disagree. No, no, even then. Even then, probably not. Okay. Likewise. Airboard. Oh. Okay, the obvious take is obvious. Gee, I wonder what you're going to take. Yep, the thorn's gone. Put you at 18. I'll play revealed. And that's why. That's why. Good. I'm sorry, may I see? Uh, waste. Pass turn. Factory. Oh, okay. Curse scroll. Curse scroll's good. Yeah. Well, I mean... Simeon Spirit Guide, Exile. Endless one on three. Yep. And I hope that's visible for the camera. Move it close just in case. And I have to take take two for that. Pass turn. Go ahead. Oh, not a 
wasteland too strong. Three? Alright, no dismember. Scavenging grounds. Mm. That main board graveyard hate. This looks like it'd be a creature. That's that's a worm. That's a worm going through. I know it's it's a fossil, but whatever. Fifteen. And it's back on you. I was trying to think of like some of the things in the card. Exile Simeon's Beer Guide. And this one on four. Yep. Alright. Fast turn. Go ahead. Oh. So I took a risk and it paid off. It may not have mattered anyway. But now we're not going to take any modicum of risk. Wasteland. That was, it was that or the scab from the grounds. I guess I could have also done the wasteland and then just played it the same way, but I'd rather hide that I have it. Then again, this also hides it for Nether Spirit, which is a one of those, so I don't know. I could see that going either way. I would like to go to combat. Seven. Take two. Matter reshaper. Oh, Three, two. Pass turn. I feel bad playing this deck. I already kind of hate Eldrazi, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm probably not playing this one again after tonight. Uh, lethal. Yep. Yeah. All right. Sorry, dude. So, there is a backstory behind this. Let me, while I'm getting out my sideboard cards, which did not show up, let me show you my, uh, let me tell you my story. So, at work, I started out being the only person playing Magic the Gathering, and I wanted to get my coworkers in because we're all nerds over there. So, uh, one person is a big fan of uh, Byzantium. He's European and, uh, and Middle Eastern history, but make Byzantium great again is his, he likes to be that guy. So I, uh, I made him a soldier's deck, and that's what I played the last time I was here. Uh, for my, uh, another co-worker, I made her the most, she said, the most ornery deck you know, you can. So this is the deck I made for her, the most ornery deck. And it's, it doesn't work for me. So two Ratchet Bombs, I can hit things like Curse Scroll. I can, if I have to, hit something like the Abyss or Nether Void. Yeah, I can just keep ticking it up until I get there. Seagate Wreckage is, if you get me down to zero cards, I can start trying to draw myself out of it. That's the hope, anyway. And Pox, of course, can do that. GTA, I don't need. I don't have creatures I need to kill with GTA, for instance, so it's not as consequential. It's great against aggro decks, this is not it. Endbringer is six mana. I mean, the draw a card part also can matter in the same way that Seagate Wreckage does, but if I'm bringing in... Uh, oh, also, Sorcerer's Spyglass hits Liliana and hits Curse Scroll, so easy enough. And then Reality Smasher, which is sort of the main reason I hate Eldrazi nowadays. It's just a big dumb creature. <laughs> it's that's all it is. That's uh, I'll take the utility of these over derp <laughs> derp. Especially when you have so many ways to keep killing my stuff. Mm -hmm. Smallpox and Innocent Blood and Dismember and things and Liliana and things like that. But that's it. That's what I was going for. Yeah.